Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. We have a nice theme going in the shop today. This gorgeous color blue on two cars, and they're both German. So let's get them corrected and protected. There are some love marks here and there to um, correct. We're going to lay down the Apex Surface Protection Metal Oxide Coating. On the Audi, there's some PPF to remove from the front clip of the vehicle. Let's get to work. Along with how-tos and some product reviews, I also like to sneak in vlogs every once in a while. So you have some references to come back to when it comes to the different types of clear coat. Both of these cars have medium clear. We want to get them washed. We want to get them prepped for the correction. That means a wash, decon, clay, iron remover. And let's start with the wheels. With the Audi squeaky clean, I can show you a couple of the areas where after the love marks here on the paint and up front, the front clip has PPF that is going to be removed. It was laid down on some swirled paint and we're going to take care of that first and then protect it once again. Removing paint protection film can be a bear. Our bays are full, curing, coating jobs, so I'm outside. Uh, we don't have the use of the infrared lamps out here, but that would be a nice way to go. You can also use a steamer, and you can also use the heat gun. With that removed, that always leaves a bit of adhesive behind, and we'll use some Goof Off Pro Strength to work at that. We're going to bring the Audi inside, pull the Volkswagen Golf R outside, and we're going to get that washed and decontaminated as well. Again, a complete wash, iron remover, clay, and then we'll dry it off. Before we start our test spots to find the best combination of pad and polisher and also correction fluid, we want to do some measurements to see how much of the surface finish we have to work with. This vehicle is relatively new, so the paint depth uh, readings that we're getting from this gauge, they are normal low, meaning it's a newer vehicle, so it's going to be thin, clear coat, uh, a little bit softer as the years go by. When it comes to gloss, we have plenty of room to work with. We're going to be shooting for triple digits. With the thin clear coat, we definitely want to get the imperfections and love marks removed in one step, and we're going to try the Turtle Wax One and Done with a Euro fiber pad and a 15 millimeter throw polisher and as always we are doing a test spot on every vehicle i'm often asked if i can do a chart showing the hardness of clear coat for different makes and models and years but it would be almost impossible and endless even as vehicles in the same year can have a different type of clear coat because they could outsource the clear in the middle of the calendar year so always do a test spot and see which combination works best and always start with the least aggressive combination necessary.
This combination seems to work perfectly, removing the imperfections, yet not leaving a haze behind that we need to follow up with yet a second step to finish down further. We'll continue on with this combination. With the Golf in excellent hands, I can hop over to the Audi and get that started. And we're starting with measurements, paint depth first. And this vehicle here, a little bit older, but in excellent shape. The owner does a great job keeping it looking fantastic. Uh, there are going to be some measurements jumping up and down as the two doors have been repainted. And um, a fender, no big deal. Uh, we're just going to be careful, uh, just like the Volkswagen. In this one here, we're going to get the imperfections removed in just one step, leaving behind as much clear as possible. By the way, normal for this vehicle, it's year and mileage. Walking back through the passenger side, these would be the normal readings. Plenty of room to work with when it comes to gloss on both of these vehicles, and we'll see where we end up at the end of this short series. It's just going to be a two-video series, and we'll cover the correction and protection of both surfaces on these two vehicles. We also take care of dings and small dents here, so we'll bring out the PDR and get these little imperfections uh, pulled out, removed, and flattened perfectly. Before we lay a pad down to the surface of this finish, there are some areas to protect the strips around the window sills, the B pillars, and the roof are wrapped. They need to be protected. This is the perfect situation to bring out the 3M Delicate Surface Masking Tape. This is the perfect balance of an adhesive that can hold on to a surface, but not pull it with when you go to remove it. The trunk deck or the boot lid is the perfect place to start your test spot. You'll see exactly with our swirl finder here what we're looking for, what we're trying to remove. Dan already found his combination with the rotary and he's wasting no time getting to it. For myself, I'll grab the Extreme Solutions LVR 500 and one or two drops of ice, and then we'll also use that with the Eurofiber pad and a 21mm throw boss polisher.
that hit the sweet spot for me on this particular finish and I'm going to continue going around the vehicle with this team with this combination. That is going to do it for part one of this two-part short mini-series. Join us again in part two, where we finish up the correction and protect these two beautiful vehicles. Brian from Apex Detail, I'll catch you in the next video.